Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be playing in the Arena of Champions using none other than the starter deck, which is Dilo, Kaya, and Sucrose. And what's more, we're going to be doing this without using any action cards at all. And you might be wondering, well, how are you going to do that? Are you just going to stop yourself from using any action cards? No. What we're going to do is that we're going to fill up our deck with 30 completely useless action cards. And the easiest way to do this is to just include all the useless weapons that I can't even equip. For example, bows, because I have no archers, I have no bow users in my deck here, as well as pole arms. So every single bow and every single pole arm. There we go. And this is actually enough to fill up my deck to 26 cards already. So now we just need to get four more. And for the for these last four cards, I'm just going to get um if I can find it. Aha! These four cards. Since I can't equip any weapons, this card is actually useless. And I have no artifacts anyway, so this card is also useless. So I now have 30 completely useless action cards. Incredible. And we're going to equip this deck and hop right into Arena of Champions. Alright, we're going on into our first game against, I, I can't read that name. But they're using Raiden, Yai, and Nahida, a quicken deck. God, please have mercy. I'm just using a deck with no action cards whatsoever. Okay, at least I start first. There's no point changing my starting hand because all of these cards mean the same to me. They're just all dice fixers. And I think here we start on Kaya because I want to get Kaya's burst if possible. The thing is, with 8 dice every round, all we can do is one, 2 attacks and 1... I mean 2 switches. 2 attacks and 2 switches. No more, no less. Well, sometimes less if I use the 4 dice burst on the look and Kaya. And the thing is, since we, get, uh, we can switch 2 times every single round anyway, and Kaya's burst hits when you switch characters, this is pretty good value for me. So starting off here, I'm gonna just tune my cards and use Kaya's skill. Look, my cards exist for tuning. There's no point in keeping them. Although I'm not going to tune another 3 cards for another skill. Since I have 3 Animo dice here, I'm just going to switch to Sucrose and use a skill instead. I just hope they let me swirl. Like, come on, please. Have mercy. Just let me swirl. Okay, do it. Let me swirl. If they switch here, I might actually switch back to Kaya and normal attack instead. Okay, no, they just stay on right end. Excellent. Now we sew them off of Raiden. Now they are Nahida. Wait, what? I won't say that's a waste of an LITM, but that's a waste of an LITM. Okay. So here, if I stay on Sucrose, there's a chance they could adapt this temptation and take out Sucrose. So maybe let's not do that, you know? Just saying. Oh, actually, do I want to switch to d Luke here? Hmm, decisions. Okay, maybe not. Let's just switch to Kaya here. Ready when you are. I'm gonna use a normal attack, followed by his burst. Or if we magically get 7 cryo dice, I'll use his skill, followed by the, his burst. I did say all my cards are for tuning, but there is a limit to that. Uh, just give me cryo dice this round. Okay, then. Thanks, game. Okay, so if I want a normal attack and burst, I need to tune two cards. That's fine by me. Uh, they use a lotus, so there's no point in using a skill anyway. Why are you even using lotus on Raiden? Come on. There's no point in keeping Raiden here. Okay. Uh, they only have one card left, so I shouldn't have to worry about LITM here. Let's just normal attack. Yep, now they switch to Nahida. Oh, do I want to allow the quick the quicken here? Probably not. So maybe we switch to Sucrose instead. To Swole? Is it worth it? Switch to Sucrose the Soul. 
it might be worth it. I, I can do it. Make yourself a home. All right. We deny the quicken. We, we can soar this way because they're out of dice. So I don't have to worry about Yai triggering quicken, taking out Sucrose here. Now they just end their round. How much does this deal again? Five right off the bat. Followed by another three if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, wait. He has, she hasn't used a skill yet, so it's just five right off the bat. And that's it for now. Well, in that case, let's switch to to D look here. Let's finish this. Again, I'm not allowing them any quicken at all. And wait, for once I'm gonna have more than eight dice thanks to Kid Kojirai. So I can actually attack three times with D look here. That's pretty nice. So if they don't have food here, Yai will die in 2 hits from Diluc. Okay, my dice are pretty bad for Diluc, but that's fine, I have like 7 cards for tuning. Okay, they do have food. What a shame. Gamblers, what what are you killing? You're, you're not killing anything. You're just doing that. Okay. Uh, should I bother? Or should I just normal attack? I think we bother. Great. So now you use your burst. And then I'll switch to Kaya because then he'll be safe. Nice, nice cards. I'm always watching. Yep. And this second hit it will only deal 3 damage, which is not enough to take out Kaya. Wait, 3 damage? I can take out... If I tune all my cards, I can take out Yai here. And then Diluc dies to Eye of Stormy Judgment. And depending on who they put out, I can put out... Kaya or Sucrose. Okay, but if I switch to Kaya now, he takes 3 damage. I use Kaya's Burst. And I can switch once as well. That would do 3 damage. I can switch off to... Diluc. Or even just stay on Kaya. I can switch back and forth. Oh, okay, it is great, it is great. We switch to Kaya here. Be interesting. They have to just end their round. There's nothing else they can do. Now we burst. This will be frozen in time. Now there's no way for them to deal quick damage. I'm gonna switch to D look here. Let's go. Now Raiden and Yaya are in one shot range. So D look will have 3 HP, I mean none of their characters can take me out except Nahida. I just have to hope they don't get LITM from their two cards here and just one shot D look. Okay, here I'm gonna keep my Animo dice. Okay, pretty good dice. I still have like 8 cards for tuning, so literally doesn't matter. I mean, it kinda matters. Right here. What the hell? Hmm, do we just melt here? Not sure, honestly. If I switch to Sucrose here, Sucrose actually survives. That's interesting. Sucrose actually survives. Okay, I still have these two. These two deal 4 damage in total. If Naida kills me... Oh god. Wait, let me count. You could still gamblers and 5 dice. Wow. Oof. Why do we switch to Kaya here? Interesting choice. You know, since all of them are in one shot range anyway, why don't we switch to Sucrose here? Help. 
Okay. So normal attack can't kill me. I'm just gonna assume they have no cards as well because, come on, they have two cards. What are they gonna do? They've literally drawn the same amount of cards as me when I, all my cards are useless. Okay, I can get a neat double kill here or I can just use the burst. If they attack, I can actually- wait. Nahida would be in one shot range to Deluxe skill. And Raiden can die to Icicle. Why if they switch to Nahida after this? I guess I'm kinda screwed. No, I can switch to Kaya. Oh, it's lit. Animal hypostasis emulation. The fun is over. I realize the skill might have been better actually, but what if they lotus there? Ooh, what if they lotus there? Because then I don't have the summon. Too many things to keep track of, man. Okay, now we switch to Kaya, right? Yeah, in one shot range. To Kaya. Again, they could food, they could use food and then heal up. That would be pretty bad for me, I guess. But I have to take my chances here. Go on, kill Kaya. He's all yours. Alright, sweet. Doesn't look good. I'm gonna assume they don't have two two wovens. I'm gonna put out sucrose here because I'm the swirl again. Just gonna tune three cards. So, because this this deals one damage to Raiden as well. Alright. Now that she have nothing left. Alright, oh, nice, we won. GG. And we get our first game using this stupid deck against some quicken deck all right we're now one win into the challenge zero losses let's go again and uh, okay sure buddy all right for game number two we get another quicken deck what's up with all these quicken decks in arena of champions it's not even like popular in co-op matchmaking or anything. I mean, it's not even good right now. Although this is Arena of Champions. Okay, who am I to say about whether a, good, a deck is good or not when I'm using this stupid deck? This will be interesting. Kaya it is. Oh my god. It might maybe D look it is instead. Yeah. Okay. D look Let's it is. This. Swiftly. So again, I do have two attacks and two switches here from eight dice. So I'm free to switch to D look, use his skill, and then switch to Sucrose and then use her skill and profit. Or maybe I switch back to Kaya and use his skill. I don't know. I don't know man. Will he will Raiden Shogun here let me swirl if I switch to Sucrose? Maybe. What the heck? You're running Ah, Star Signs? And strategize, so you're not even gonna attack this round, unless you have woven. Which would be quite the waste of a woven die. My guy is putting him down Favonius Cathedral in round one. Okay, there we go, woven. And bestest. There is no escape. I won't say much about the usage of cards here. But I think my usage of cards is better than that. Even while using this deck. Okay. Now you have no dice, so I'm just gonna swirl you. Yep. I will switch them to Nahida though. It is a quicken, a free quicken for them since this will apply Electro and Sucrose. I guess it's fine. It is what it is. I mean, I could normal attack as well, but no. Because if I normal attack, they can use the burst, and that's kind of, kind of worse. 
that's perhaps even worse. Skill. Alright. So if they stay on Nahida, I can soul again. Should be pretty great. And I wasted 1 HP from their Favonius Cathedral as well, since that only healed 1 HP, not 2. Alright. I'll keep my cryo dice. Ooh, I was hoping for Animo, but alright. Food? How much healing do you have in this deck? You're using an aggro deck, goddammit. So they switch back to Raiden here, they, they really want that burst. And you know what? I can't do anything about it. I mean I could sew them off again, but come on. That's not that's not working. They're just gonna switch back again. Wait, they can't because she would die. Huh. So do I sew them off again? Or do I just switch to Kaya? And let them burst? Yeah, I feel like I would die if they burst, so. Let's switch them off again. They can't heal Ryder anymore, so they absolutely cannot switch to her this round. I'm just gonna bet they don't have LITM in hand. Okay, they're just gonna give me the free kill. Well, we, we take what we can get. I mean, sure. If you're just gonna give it to me like that, I mean... I'll take it. Ouch. Alright, here I'm I might just like use this and then let Sucrose die. Like next round. Does that sound like a plan? Ooh, actually. I know what I'm gonna do. They have no Electro left on their team, so that's that's no more quicken for them. You're, you're not even gonna let me finish talking? Okay, sure. Basically, they have no quicken, so I was just gonna let Sucrose take the Electro hit, and then just play ent entirely on Dilok and Kaya. Then they would have no reactions while I do, and that's I think I can win from that. Well, GG. All right, we continue for game number three. Going up against someone who bought the Ganyu skin. Alright, Ganyu Xiangling Diona. What? Okay. Oh my gosh guys, level 10 card. They're a level 10 Genshin TCG player. Oh my gosh, I'm kinda nervous right now. I think they'll start on Xiangling here, Goba. Sounds about right. Wait, they start first. Ah well, whatever, we start on Kaya. It all depends, whatever I do depends on my dice anyway. Ah yes, perfect. I check I've uh, wrote one more pyro die because I don't need that many pyro dice. I only need three for one attack from d -Luke. I mean I could do two attacks on d -Luke, but would I? Okay, so the idea here is they're gonna use, use Goba. And I'm gonna switch to D look. And then you'll switch off of Xiangling to probably Diona. Yeah. I'm gonna guess Diona. Let's finish this swiftly. So now they switch to Diona. Now they switch to Diona. Now they okay, hold on. Oh my god guys. Dunyazad. Oh you switch to Ganyu? Are you gonna use this? What? Okay. I'll take that. Okay, so now after they attack with using these three dice, which they do, they have mo no more dice left, meaning they can't switch. And that's a free soul for I us. Oh yeah. Okay, do I tune my more card? Absolutely. Give me that soul. And switch to Diona. Honestly, I don't want them to be on Diona, but I kind of need the extra damage, so I'll take what I'll take what I can get. Now I just end my round. Now they can use icy pause, deal four damage, gain one shield, 
all that good stuff and I'm just gonna sew them again if they do that because at 4 HP Sucrose can still take another hit okay please can, can I not get any more dice come on I appreciate that you have given me useful dice at least at least it's not like seven dendro dice or something oh my gosh another Dunyarzad whatever will I do I wonder what companion cards they have. Imagine they start putting down like Yayoi. Wait, you can't guild it anyway. Okay, Paimon, just some standard stuff. Why are you Paimoning so early? Okay, uh, here's a quick tip. Always leave your ramp until the right before you end your round. Because now by putting down Paimon, you're telling me you have Paimon, and you're telling me you... I mean, basically you can't change your decision anymore. Like if you didn't use Paimon before this, you would still have 5 dice. Meaning after another attack, you can still have 2 dice to switch around if you have to. But now you are just stuck with Paimon. And you cannot switch even if you wanted to. Alright, we swirl again. Or do I just normal attack? Um, good question. I think we... Do I want them to switch to Xiangling to be honest? That's the question. Because if they switch to Xiangling, they normal attack, next round I can use Pyronado. That hurts. If I do this, they're forced to stay on... Oh, they're forced to stay on Diona, then I use Kaya, hit, and then the next soul is gonna hurt. Yes, yes. Okay, we normal attack here. Alright, are you gonna hit again? Or will you switch anyway? If they switch to Xiangling, I think I'll use Sucrose's burst. Nah, they don't. Alright, as planned, we switch to Kaya and use Kaya's skill. And now this next roll is gonna hurt. Although I can't switch to Sucrose just yet. Hmm. Let's see here. Should I stay on Kaya? Or should I switch to Diluc? They're gonna have uh, 12 dice next round, by the way. Oh god. Okay, let's, let's let Diluc eat this up. Ouch. Oh boy, 12 dice. I don't know how I'm, how I'm going to deal with that. I don't think I can deal with that. You know what? We'll just believe. Sucrose, one throw, and uh, we that's how we've been, maybe. Because this sword will do 9 damage if I swallow the cryo. Wow, wouldn't it be nice to have fast action switch? Huh. Where can I get that? Okay, Chalf dies, switch to Ganyu. If they switch to Ganyu, I might switch to... Ah, Kaya. Because that threatens Ganyu's life. Unlike... Unlike this. No, they just shoot up. Okay. Okay, then I switch to Sucrose now. And I'm gonna use a burst. Unless they switch to Ganyu, then I'll use the skill to switch them off of Ganyu. Oh my god, two Paimons, please stop. Dude, why do you need 14 dice against a guy who only has 8 dice every single round? Okay, Catherine. Oh, Xiangling. Okay. Okay, I think I'll burst here and then switch to... Well, I'm not sure who I'll switch to, but I'll switch to someone and then use their skill as well. Oh god. Why do you have Rana? It's just waste. You're using Goba here, that's also just a waste. Even you could be doing so much more. Hey, do I want to put out Ganyu for them? That would be interesting. If I put out Ganyu for them, they're forced to switch. I think they would switch to... 
die you now, honestly. Hmm. Nah, I think we just burst here. I might have to sacrifice d look here. Oh wow, you just end your round? Okay. Okay. Let me switch to Kaya skill, 3 dam 2 damage. Uh, 4 damage. At least Sang Ling on 2 HP. Okay. This will be interesting. Since they're gonna use Pyro Nido, that means they're gonna apply Pyro anyway, so I might as well let Kaya take the hit from Goba and then he'll take more pyro hits. Oh god. Okay. If we can take out Ganyu here, it should be playable. Don't ask me how I'm gonna do that. It all depends on whether they let me do that. Uh what dice do we need here actually? Alright. I need cryo dice because I'm gonna use Kaya's burst. That's not cryo dice, but sure. I mean I've like how many cards? Nine cards here to tune anyway. So Kaya can die here unless they fast action switch to gun your Amos Bow and Frost Flake Arrow. Actually does that even kill? You know it doesn't matter. They use Pyronado. Now I'm gonna burst. But they do have fast action. This deals what? Four damage? Oh bad. Bad, bad. 4 damage and then Pyronado is wasted on Kaya. Great. And the switch will kill Ganyu. I can put out Diluc. Melt Diona. Wait, isn't that great? And then this finishes the game. Okay. We start tuning. Burst. Oh, so sad. Go on, use Frost Flake Arrow. Frost Flake Arrow, you know you want to. You have been setting up all game. It took you four rounds to set- four rounds, right? Yes, it took you four rounds to set up one Frost Flake- Okay, I guess not. Okay, so if you use Icy Paws here, I mean, I, I obviously die. Oh, wow. Okay, then I can't put out d because he just dies. The Pyronado. So I mean I have to put out Sucrose. I, I mean I get a double kill here though. And if they use their burst... Oh if they use their burst then... Do you look dies? Oh crap, d look does die. What if I switch first? Switch first, burst, d look dies, Sarah, Sucrose comes out. Wait, that's 4 damage. Let's use 2. Oh, yes, yes, okay. Let's finish this swiftly. Okay, please use your burst. I need you to use your burst. And don't don't pull out another shattering eyes, please. That would be pretty bad for me. Nice. Nice. And now we get a triple kill here. Triple kill. Oh yeah. Okay. GG. Well, we are now 3 wins in with this deck with no action cards. Time for game number 4. Okay, for game number 4, we are going up against Hotori here, who is using Leila, Mona, Yula. And this actually looks like a pretty decent deck, other than the fact that there's Leila for some reason. I don't know why they have Leila in this deck, to be honest. Like, are you gonna be an aggro deck or stall deck? Just choose one. 
So against this deck, I mean... Let's just do what we've been doing this whole time. Of course they start on Layla because they want to get their Night Stars going as soon as possible. Okay. We skill here. No question about it. Okay, now I actually want to swirl as usual, but it's like a hundred percent chance to switch away from Layla here. So I think I'll switch to D Load, tune another three cards and use the elemental skill. Let's finish this swiftly. I'll be really low on cards, but I think I have to take that gamble. Yeah, did a switch here. Hey Mona, okay. Uh you end up start freezing? Sure. Oh, there goes another three cards. I can't really normal attack too much either because I need all the damage I can get. Oh, Paimon. If I switch here, what are you gonna do? I mean, you could switch to Eula. Oh, you have three attacks. Oof. Oof. That hurts. Oh, then we switch to Kaya. Okay, if they switch to Yura in attack, then we switch to Kaya. Normal attack and burst. So this round we go for Animo and Cryo Dice. Leaning more towards the Cryo side, if possible. Okay, actually I'll just keep that. Don't know what we can get here. Okay, we lead more to the Animo side instead. Oh nice. Why are you gonna use skill? Use your skill, do it. Use a skill and I'll soul you. I like how I'm still at max HP by the way. A Lotus! Into destiny. Me if Lotus... Try even switch them to Layla. Is there even merit in switching them to Layla? Actually there is because... By switching them to Layla, they can't fast action switch to Eula. Okay, I'll take it. Now if they use their shield here, they will freeze Sucrose. And in that case, I'll switch to Kaya and use his skill. Yep. They will use the burst here, but plan is this will deal 3, 4, 5. Six. And I just pray they don't have LITM to freeze me again. Great plan, thank you. Ah, uh, okay. I mean, he is running a stall-ish deck, I suppose. But damn. Well, I do not want Kaya to get frozen here, so I'm just gonna switch to Sucrose, right? Yeah. We switch to Sucrose here. End round. And next round, we switch to Kaya Burst Skill. Easy. I just need, like, at least two Cryo Dice here. Perfect, we got two Cryo Dice. Can I have more? Okay, we got three, so. I don't have to tune all my cards, I can only tune- I just have to tune 4. Which is also all my cards, almost. Huh, you're gonna take out Sucrose for me. Okay, then in that case I can actually s burst and then switch to D-Look and then skill. Cause I would have- Wait, no, I can actually do- What can I do? I can switch twice, no? Wait, no, I can only switch once. This costs 4, okay, okay. Yo, relax, holy. Hey, where did all your dice go? I wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. Matsutake meat rolls. Okay. Well, you obviously switch here. Mona might be a fine choice. Okay, I don't think we're winning this one, boys. Hate to break it to you. 
but we have icicles. It's six. It's six free damage. We can make something work. Um, if I switch here, they switch to Yula and attack, and I switch back, and I switch again. Brilliant game plan. Hold on, hold on. Okay, switch here. If they skill, I just attack. Yeah, I just attack. If they switch to Eula, do I actually switch back? I switch back, take 4 damage, 5 HP. They attack, I switch back, 5 damage, 6 damage. Yeah, okay, we switch to D-Look here. Let's finish this swiftly. Winnable if they mess it up. Imagine this guy has Passing of Judgment. That would be the funniest arcane card to have against me. Okay, good. They used a skill. I was hoping for that, because that's better for me. So now I'm gonna vaporize you. I mean, not vaporize, melt you. I'll take what reactions I can get. Now they just set up. Oh god, 12 dice next round again. They can instant freeze me, but I mean, I'm gonna switch anyway. It's not like I have a choice against this. And besides, their next attack will instant freeze me if they attack with Mona here. Suppose I might as well just let Dilo get frozen no matter what. Um. Okay, I don't think we need Pyro Dice since Dilo's gonna get frozen no matter what he does. Like, actually, no matter what he does, Dilo gets frozen here. Unless they switch back and forth. Which would just be dumb. Okay, Bestus. Ouch. Now this will do 5 damage, and then this will do 2 damage. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So Kaya is gonna die. And that's why I don't think we're winning this one. I guess we do this here. What else do you want me to do, man? If I switch to d -Log, they burst. Let's come back to Kaya too. I kill. Uh, I still lose. If I skill here, they just burst. And then I, uh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Because this girl can still heal. Nah, this game is just gone, man. Nah, okay. Our first loss. It was inevitable. Unless they do something dumb, like not using the burst here. Oh my god. How does this just work in my favor? There's no way. There's actually no way. Okay, so now by doing that, at least vapor uh, melt can take out Layla. Um, okay. 4 HP. 4 HP and a dream. By the way, Liban doesn't activate here because they only had 4 dice. So they only they only have 10 dice here. Now we need to get really good dice because I tuned all my cards just now. I kinda had to. Okay. Good enough. 
Nice, we don't actually have to tune any cards at all. Oh, I could burst again, but... Oh, Lotus, are you serious? My guiding stars. A normal, okay. I mean, a burst. I mean, skill. Can't speak. Question, what do I do against that? I burst, right? I mean, surely. This will be frozen in time. It's a lotus anyway. Uh, the issue is just Layla here having too much shield. What? Okay, I cannot switch to Dilo because then the burst just kills both my characters. Or it, it kills them anyway, because of night star shooting stars. Okay. She has 6 HP. Yeah, I, I mean I lose anyway. Nothing I can do about it. Oh well, GG. Just end it for me. Oh well, you just normal attack as well. But yeah, it doesn't matter, they have, they have all these characters. GG. So that's our first loss. But we can still lose two more times. We still stand a chance to get five wins here. And we go again. Alright, we're going up against Mayu here, who's using Kaching, Mona, and Ganyu. And already this looks pretty bad because they have a pretty decent deck. Okay, I think they'll start on Mona. I mean, they should start on Mona. So they start on Mona. They're gonna use the skill. I can Kaya skill first. Switch away and then just Diluc skill. Sounds Maybe. like a plan. Oh, I could rush Kaya's burst straight away, though I'm not sure how good that is. Whatever it is, we use Kaya skill, so let's not think too much about that first. Honestly? I think we just ru we can try rushing Kaya's burst. I haven't tried that yet. That is true. And I'm gonna try it this time. Kaboom. Free. What's the point of Ally of Catherine when you already have fast action switch from Bona? I mean, I, I don't know, you could like switch here and then switch back, that would be kind of sick. Alright, got you. Are you gonna freeze me? I have like. Huh? Calxus Arts? Hey, there's no way, he actually switched back and forth. Wow. Incredible. Okay, so obviously they want to just freeze me next round by fast action switching to Ganyu. Then next round I think I'll just... I'll attack, I'll attack with Dilu. Then maybe round 3 I can go for the burst instead. So here we just go for pyro dice. Oh wow, pretty good dice, not gonna lie. Okay, they freeze. I think they will use frost flake arrow here. No, trail of the chillin. Oh, they want the burst? No, they can't get it this round. Let's finish this swiftly. Don't have to worry too much yet. Interesting thing is they have so much fast action switch that they will always end their round first. And you know what that means? Free souls. Uh free soul? Free soul. I can do it. 
Uh, do I want to switch them back to Ganyu? It's free damage. Give it to me. Give me the damage. Oh yes, thank you. Okay, now if they stay on Ganyu, I just soul again. Literally don't even care about Kaya. Maybe I kind of care. Maybe perhaps I kind of care, you know. Just saying. Okay, if they're smart, they might switch to uh, Mona here. Oh uh, no, they have LIT. They have Catherine, they can't do that. They have to attack here. Ouch. Okay, this deals like what? Two, one, two damage. So, if I saw them, they just. They can't. If I saw them, they can't burst. Because they have. They don't have enough dice. Wow. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice indeed? Yeah, that's what I thought. Not enough dice to burst, right? Yeah, okay. So now I think they'll just set up something and then end their round. Oh no, they're gonna attack me. With a skill? Oh. You're rich, aren't you? Oh, of course I'm gonna switch to Kaya and Burst now. This will be interesting. It's prime time for a Burst. Okay. Alright, this is actually looking pretty good for some reason. Although the Gan Ganyu does kinda scare me. If they kill Kaya here, which I think they have to, I will swirl them off of Ganyu and onto Kaching. Sucrose will have 4 HP, or if they, uh, if they burst, it will be 5 HP. So Kaching can't actually kill her. And there's no way they have Tanduri when they only have one card in hand. Oh, they actually go for Frostlake Arrow. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can do, it. do I do this? Or do I do this? Wait, this deals one damage. Okay, so here's the thing. If I do this, I can't kill them this round. But if I do this, I can. Because they'll use the burst. Chunis deals two. Yo. I think we win here. We use the burst. Now they have to use their burst. Because if they switch to Kaching, they have no dice left to attack. I was wrong. They still have dice to attack. But not like that bothers me because of Icicles. Let's go. And that's GG. Good game. We're now 4 wins in. Alright, 4 wins, 1 loss in. We go again for what will hopefully be our final match. Oh, it's taking a while for the queue now. Okay, we go up against Kave a uh, Kave main here. Okay, it's not necessarily a Kave main. Like, I have Traveler in my profile picture, but I never use Traveler. Sorry. Okay, back to the game. Where was I? They're using Nilo Bloom here. Nilo, Tainari, and Mona. Tainari is an interesting choice. Usually you would see Baizu, or recently Kirara. Now here that's not a bad choice either, but Tainari is just subpar as a Denjo unit. Either way, I, I think I'll get cooked by this deck. It, perhaps it doesn't matter. This dude is thinking for a long time about his starting hand. My guy. My guy. You don't have to think that hard to beat me. Okay, so they should start on Nilo first. That's just like the law. So I'm gonna start on Dilo this time actually. This swiftly. It might actually be better to start on Dilo. Oh god. Give me Pyro and Cryo. 
Hey, it's not Pyro and Cryo. Uh, good by four cards, I guess. I'm gonna use Deluxe skill. Then switch to Kaya. And then use Kaya skill. Okay? And we pray they don't have LITM at, at, at any point in time. Change of plans. We switch to Kaya. Because we absolutely cannot allow this man to get a, any kind of uh, reaction off. Otherwise, those Dendro Cores are gonna destroy us. Okay, anyway. They did that. Skill. Also, I'm just so thankful they normal attack there. Because now, there's no element on Kaya, which means I'm again safe from any kind of reaction. Oh, you, you thought Mona is safe? Nah. Just, you, you thought you're safe just because I don't have Cryo Dice. All my cards exist for tuning. Okay, so here's the thing. They want to switch to Tainari. Probably. Or they might use a skill. Okay, the point is, I'm gonna switch to Sucrose because I want to use Kaya's first next round. So Sucrose is kind of a fodder here. And again, we're abusing the fact that this guy has too many fast action switches, so they can't stall the turn, so to say. Uh, give me Cryo Dice, thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh, that is pretty good. Five usable dice. Whoa. Alright, use your skill. And I switch away. This will be interesting. Oh, what's this? Another round with no dendro calls for you? What a shame. Oh my gosh, someone who actually has draw cards in their deck. There's no way. In case you guys are new to TCG, you absolutely must have draw cards in your deck. They are vital. The most important thing in TCG ever. But at the same time, don't make your deck just like 30 draw cards. Then you just draw more draw cards. And that's kind of useless. The point is, you want to draw like most of your deck by round 3. Because that's usually when games will end. Okay, so interesting thing to note here. If I burst, I can't switch an attack. Yeah, I don't care. I'm just gonna, just gonna burst anyway. The burst is too useful. Well, next round I can't stop them from getting a reaction off. Uh, is that important? It could be. No, uh, I think we just normal attack here. It's only plus one damage, and Mona already has cry on her anyway. I'm running the one cards for once. Okay, so in this round, finally on round three. They're gonna get their hype. I, I, I forgot what the element was called. I mean, I forgot what the reaction was called. Wonderful. Day one Genshin player, by the way. Not on this account, but I mean, I, I was here since the start. This account was not here since the start. <laughs> Can't see. Right, Bloom. It's just called Bloom. Okay. You know, I, I really do not want to switch a game and let them trigger another round of bloom, so we just normal. I mean, we just kill. Now, please kill me. That would be great. Let me scratch. <laughs> you can't, you can't end or you can't stall the round because, oh my god, that's so sad. Yeah, this is why you don't use Catherine, guys. Well. There is absolutely no way I'm letting Mona live. How should we kill her? Hmm, good question. I can switch to D look right away. And then skill. That's enough to take her out. And I can just leave D look there, right? One, two, three, four. Oh no, I can't actually de leave D look there. Oh, I can switch to Sucrose after that. Okay. All my plans revolve What's around Dilu. See, the thing is, I can also switch to Sugros here and then Swole Mona. 
But I think that's a waste of an icicle. Yeah. I think we just smelt here. Kaboom. Oh, they put out Nido. They want to use Nido's burst. That is two damage only. Of course, they still have fast action switch. They could switch to a uh, freaking Tainari. Let's see how much damage does this deal. Wait, I could switch here. Oh, if I switch to Kaya, two damage. Kaya dies. Switch to Sucrose, four damage. And that puts Nido in kill range. I can send a D look actually. And really melt their asses off. What if I stay on D though? 3, 4. No, that's really bad. If I s go to Sucrose, you'll have a s 5 HP. No, no, no. We switch to Kaya this here. Will be interesting. We sacrifice Kaya. And then we send out Dilo. Right? Or do we send out Sucrose? This will do another 2 damage. Sure, Nilo will be in kill range, but I'm sure they can heal with Hydro Resonance. And that's why I want to send out Dilo. Let's finish this yes. So even if they use Hydro Resonance, they're still in kill range. Oh, Hydro Resonance will be my bane. Somehow I am up in damage. I don't even know how, but I am. Oh, here we just go for two melts now. Okay, they switch to Tainari instead. Oh god. I mean, that doesn't kill me. I, I did I did consider like their burst, but everything. that doesn't kill me. Do I want to switch to Sucrose? Um, Cause if I just melt here, I could take that out but then I die to this. I'm sure they have woven. I'm pretty sure they have woven. This would deal like so much, so much damage. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 5, take that out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, no, I think our best bet is to switch to Sucrose here. I, I can do it. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? It's time for the curtain. Ouch. Ah. Uh. Okay, I still lose here actually. Yeah. Or, no. Uh, kinda. I still lose. I still lose. Cause they can take me out in two hits. I can't take them out in two hits. After that, Hydro Resonance. If only I had another die. Wait. 2 damage. Let's go. Wait. There can be no excuse for Okay, if they have another bit of healing I lose, which they should I think. If they don't I win. This is about as close as I will get. Go on, don't have healing. Or just like forget to use it or something. Okay, GG. Oh my god. Did 
dude. That is disgusting. Stand clear. Thing about that is they can't attack again, but that was needed for them to win this. Oh no, I'm just one HP off. I'm just one HP off. Oh, that's so sad. I'm actually just one HP off. Animal hypostasis emulation. They are too much healing. Well, that's a GG. It's okay, that's only two losses. I still have one last chance after we lose this one. One last chance to get five wins in Arena of Champions with this deck. My research has failed. Oh, we actually got a match pretty fast this time. Well, and we're going up against Ganyu Superconda. What do you expect me to do against this? Like, it's not meta by any means, but look at my deck. So they're starting right in here. Do we go with the Kaya strat? Kaya then so. Okay. Ready when you are. Good idea. Ooh, I mean I can tune my cards, okay. Not an issue. I also have two pyro dice, that's pretty cool. Very versatile dice roll here. Free. Exile circlet. Wow. If they get the burst off here, they're, they're actually going to have three energy on both Kachi and Ganyu. That is crazy. Engulfing lightning. Oh, they're gonna use the skill though. Because not enough electro dice. That's one thing we have going for us. Okay, so I just stole you off, obviously. There is actually no way in hell I am letting you get that burst off. And of course, because they're, def they're obviously not gonna switch away. I mean, if they did, then I would switch to D look and use D look skill instead. Anyway, they didn't switch. We do this. Now, I, I have to stay on Sucrose, because again, I can't allow them to get that burst off. That's just too dangerous. If I have to, I will skill on that Raiden with no elements. And so, give me all the animal dice, please. Honestly, I could go for skill and burst here. They have LITM. They drew LITM from those two cards. Oh god. Oh my god, and, and I mean, they even got this switch off, which is crazy. Well, I could, I could still swirl here. I could still go for, because of this switch, I can actually swirl again. And then burst. Which might be pretty good for me. Let's compare that to switching to Diluc. Then they would switch back to Raiden. So no, we go for the skill here, followed by burst. Unless they switch back to Ganyu, in which case I will switch to Dido. Okay, no they don't. I, I suppose I use the burst here. I mean... Surely, right? Let's think about it for a moment. How badly does this hurt? Extremely. I don't care. We go for the burst.
And if they burst, then I... Retake these. Retake these. If he's gonna give me a free win, then I'll take it. Okay? We take what we can get. This is Arena of Champions. Ladies and gentlemen. We take these. You can- you have no idea. That's GG. Five wins boys. And girls. Five wins. Oh, I can't believe I actually did this. Five wins with quite possibly the worst deck imaginable. Technically not, because you could make it worse by going mono element. But there's no way I'm doing that, not even in Arena of Champions. And now, in all of its glory, the starter deck with these stars. Five victories, challenge completed. With two losses, but hey, come on, give me a break, look at this deck. Let's take a look at the stats. Our honored champions here. Dilo, one opponent defeated, strongest single strike five. I never use this burst. 34 damage dealt, 57 damage taken. What about Kaya? Whoa, okay, I used him a lot more. Two kills. Strongest strike was four. How did you get four? Oh, probably a skill on on a hydro infused character for freeze, so plus one. Or electro. Damage dealt 67, damage taken 68. So he's almost taken as much damage as he's dealt. Not bad. I wonder if it discounts icicles. I think it should. Now Sucrose, oh god, our MVP, 10 kills, strongest strike 7, wait, when did I get 7, oh, on the triple kill, so it counts AOE damage as well, that's pretty cool, damage dealt 118, damage taken only 67, our MVP right here guys, and now we can see the deck in all of its glory, so guys, if you want to get 5 wins in Arena of Champions, just copy this deck. As usual, the deck link and this preview will be available in the description below. So that's all I have for, for you guys today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.